Hello, is it me you're looking for? If so, you've come to the right place. Yes, I am back. Again, that's my catchphrase, probably now. Um, yeah, I've just got the interest to do another video. We'll start making videos again, hopefully. You now I've got my mug of tea ready. Mmm. Mmm, fantastic, fantastic stuff. And speaking of fantastic stuff, the reason I started to want make bleh, I'll say that sentence again. The reason I want to make more videos because WWE, well done, well done. I watched Money in the Bank. I watched Money in the Bank because I got it free over here in in the UK, so I didn't have to pay for it. I would have paid for it anyway, but you know, I ain't complaining that it's free. Great pay per view, great great pay per view. Obviously, you could have done about the Divas match, but apart from that, I thought this pay per view was Spectacular, really. Just the SmackDown Money in the Bank, very, very good match. Very happy Daniel Bryan won. It was like one o'clock in the morning over here, so I had to be very quiet. But when Daniel Bryan won, I marked out and just went, Yes! Because he deserves it more than anything. I honestly thought Cody Rhodes was going to win it, and I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I must say, Heath Slater kind of annoys me. To be fair, and thank God Ezekiel Jackson was in this match. So that's all I can say. Uh, Divas match, god awful. Uh, the Mark Henry Big Show match that was actually very good, very good. This is probably Mark Henry's best work he's ever done. It's a shame it's 15 years into his career. If he did this in '96, imagine what he'd be like now. Probably Hall of Fame material. Mm. Yeah, it was good psychology. Mark Henry looked like a beast. Hopefully Big Show saves out. Maybe even retires. I'm not a big fan of Big Show these days. Um, what was next? Raw Money in the Bank. Now this was car crash television. But good car crash television. You know, there's like all these crazy ass spots. Evan Bourne is a sick mofo. I can tell you that right now. Doing that shooting star press. Big props up to him. Kofi, very impressive. I Kofi always does well in these sorts of matches, so, you know. And, yeah, Alberto won. Fine. I don't care, really. It's just a song, and he doesn't beat Punk. I'm all for it. We'll get onto Punk in a minute. Uh, the SmackDown title match, I thought this was fine. This is fine. Maybe not their best match. It probably would have been their best match if it weren't for the screw finish, but the screw finish worked, so... And Orton afterwards, he looked like a legit badass, did he not? Absolute manhandling Christian on that table. You would have think it was break. The sole reason the Spanish announced table there, and I've noticed this, because I don't think it's been at any other pay-per-views recently, they just brought it back so Orton can put Christian through it. That's the only reason I think it was brought back, but there you go. Um, and then, then the magic happened, oh yes, Punk and Cena. Oh, I knew it was going to be good. I knew the crowd were going to be on Punk's side, but God, I never thought it would be that much. Wow. Just, wow. I haven't had pops like that since. Wow. It was insane. Insaneness, that match was. And it told a great story. It's Cena was playing heel. Punk was playing face. Punk's shirt is awesome. John Laronitis showed up. He got clotheslined. It, it was going to be a screw job. Punk won the belt. He won the crappy spin about, but he won the world championship nonetheless. And Vince McMahon's fuming. Oh, get Alberto out here now. And Alberto oh, comes running out. He gets Muay Thai kicked in the head. Punk runs away with Colt Cabana and Ace Steel riding on their high horses as they head off into the sunset, never to be seen for another month. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. That's probably going to be match of the year. And I've watched Eddie and Davey from Best in the World a great match in its own right, but I'm sorry, but Punk and Cena just blows that away for me. Plus, I'm a Punk mark, so, you know. And then, on Raw, they follow up the storyline. Vince McMahon, Triple H's in charge now. I did not see that one coming. That surprised me. That very much surprised me. Great way, WWE. Mm. And uh, they had the tournament, didn't they, to crown a new WWE champion. Miz or Mysterio. It's going to be Miz. Has to be Miz, surely. Well, if anything, Mysterio's going to win it, then Alberto cashes in. That's the only way I can see it. 
But this is what I see. Punk's going to take time off. Punk's going to come back. He's going to have the championship. We're going to have Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon, 94 all over again when they both are in the Continental Champion because Shawn got suspended for doing drugs or something and he came back and he was still the Intercontinental Champion. So we're going to have like a unification match, I'm guessing. Maybe a Survivor Series. I think that would be appropriate. So, yeah. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. WWE's definitely got me back interested in wrestling. Especially WWE, because uh, this needs... These, the only problem with this at the moment, if you've watched Draw, Cena's gotten off scot-free as of yet. Because Vince was going to fire him. Triple H said, no, you don't have power anymore. I'm, I'm in charge. So Vince couldn't fire him. Cena better get punished. Otherwise, that's false advertising about Cena getting fired. I don't care if he gets fired or not. I just want to see him get punished in some way. So, um, yeah. Epicness from WWE. And not only that, TNA actually put on a decent pay-per-view the other day. Destination X. I thought that was alright. It's a pity what they did afterwards with Joker Sting. I just, I don't get, Why is Sting doing this? Well, if he did it in 2008 when the Dark Knight was possibly the biggest thing on the planet at that time, then yeah, I would understand. But why is he doing it now? Why does Sting need to be relevant now? I don't understand this. Why is he the champ? Why is Mr. Anderson in war? Why are all these things happening? Why is Gen Generation Me gone? Answers. Jesse Ventura should make conspiracy theories or whatever his conspiracy show is about TNA because there's some stuff going on there. Either that or our truth and little Jimmy. Ring of Honor got a TV deal. Way! Well, fantastic. Fantastic news. Uh, would it be better than the HNet? I hope so, because I can stand the HNet shows towards the end. And, um, yeah. What other big news has been going on? Lando Jordan has been released. Well, hey, that's great news. Sin Cara. Ha. Bloody ha. I do not like Sin Cara, okay? I, Mr. Co is great. I cannot stand Sin Cara. He's been subbed down our throat. The crappy lighting in his matches, the AJ Styles type fireworks like he just emerges from the fireworks all that he's been sloppy he's, he's been overhyped and especially with Booker T on commentary it just makes it even goddamn worse every single hair match is Booker T now this is my guy this this right here this is B right they're gonna be the top I'm telling you right now because I'm a five time five time champion get Booker T off replace him with Edge do something oh I never thought I'd hate Anyone as much as Mike Amelie, but Booker T's getting there. Um, any other thoughts? Sing here, been suspended for doing drugs. Well, that's what happens if you fall around Triple H. Boom, boom. Sorry, I had to do it. Um, anything else? Anything else? Davies World Heavyweight Champion RH, fantastic. Big Davy fan, so that's all good news. I really want to see him and Claudio have a match. If the Kings are heading to the WWE, that's another news, isn't that newsworthy topic? Are the Kings going to the WWE? And if so, will they be successful? Judging right now, they will be bloody successful. You know, you've got Punk and Daniel Bryan all doing well. Uh, Evan Bourne, you know, he's floating around. I'm pretty sure Seth Rollins will be brought up anytime soon. If you don't know who Seth Rollins is, it's Tyler Black. Um, yeah. So, in a way, wrestling's looking good. It's looking prosperous. Prosperous? What the bloody hell does that mean? I do not know. So, yeah. Hopefully, you're going to make more videos. I'm, I'm planning on one to do one after this video. So, expect that. It's a response to something. Anyway, it's Hippie Killers. Signing out. Drinking tea. All lovely. <laughs>